Today we're going to work on the checkerboard block and we're going to use these square in a square foundation papers by It's So Emma. If you've ever sewed with foundation papers, you know that it's kind of sewing backwards. You turn the papers over and it gives you nice crisp um, outcomes. So to start out, I'm going to take uh, the one and a half inch size. This is for the small one. I'm going to put it on the back and then I'm going to sew between the one and the two. So I'm going to put that piece there and then I hold it up to the light to make sure that i am got my seam allowance there. And then I just come down and I'm gonna start right at that point. Whoops. I do lower my stitches and I do do a back stitch just to make sure. Stitch and then do a back stitch. And then Pull it out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim that. And what you're gonna do is pull back your uh, paper where your seam was. And then I like to use this out a quarter. It's got a little uh, quarter there and there's like a little ridge. So the ridge just fits along that paper. And then you'll trim off your extra little pieces there and then I'm gonna fold it back up, and then I would take it to the ironing board and press that open. And you can see my fab uh, fabric slipped a little, it'll be fine. Okay, so after I do that, then I'm gonna sew the next one on. So now I'm gonna sew the second um, um, part, so I'm gonna lay that back on there again, checking I'm gonna sew between the one and the three that I've got that seam allowance there. Set it underneath my machine. Start sewing on the line, do a couple back stitches. So do a couple back stitches and then pull it out. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing like I did before. Pull this back and trim that, okay? Now we've sewed one, between one and two, so now we gotta do four. So pick up another little piece, lay it there. And in between times I'm pressing my seam open with my iron. So again, checking, looks good. Get it under here. This time I'm gonna sew way out here because we're gonna trim that. Now fold it back. Again, using my little add a quarter, I'm gonna just gonna lay that on there. That ridge with the paper catches it, trims off my little pieces, and then I will press that back. Okay, we're gonna put our last piece on. I can put it there. Check to make sure my seam allowances are gonna be great. I'm sewing on piece five. Again, I have my stitch length down pretty tiny. And just like before I did over here, I'll take over and trim that off. Okay, just like before, trim that little piece off. I have folded back the paper. Put my little add a quarter right there. Trim that off. Now I'll take it to the, my iron and I'll press that open. We'll just finger press for right now. And then turn it over and now you're gonna square it up. So I would get another little ruler. And just on your straight lines here, just trim on the lines, that's where I'm gonna trim. Do the one side. Turn it around and do the other side. And you will have a perfect little two inch square and a square.